Day one, phase two of Israel's Operation Cast Lead in Gaza. Its forces have now pushed into urban areas, taking on Hamas. Backed by heavy artillery, F-16 fighter jets and missile strikes by attack helicopters. Israeli tanks have also rolled deep into the Gaza Strip, cutting it in two. But the rockets this is aimed at stopping have kept coming from areas where Israelis are fighting. After this morning's war cabinet meeting, Israel's Prime Minister Ehud Olmert insisted this offensive was unavoidable. We reached a conclusion after the recommendation of the General Commander-in-Chief of Staff and with the full support of all the security units, including the head of Shin Bet and the Mossad, that there's no escape from a ground operation to achieve our targets. They went in under cover of darkness, picked out by our night vision camera. These troops were advancing into this conflict's worst fighting in decades. On Hamas TV, the enemy was sounding defiant. You entered like rats. Your entry to Gaza won't be easy. Gaza will be a graveyard for you, God willing. Israel is taking casualties, more than 30 wounded, two of them seriously. It says it's killed around the same number of Hamas fighters. There's mounting concern about the civilian casualties. We're still not allowed into Gaza, but reliable sources have told us of a number of direct Israeli hits on Palestinian civilians. Five people killed by two artillery shells in Beit Lahir. Another eight killed by artillery in northern Gaza and five more killed in a shopping mall in Gaza City. And there's mounting diplomatic pressure to end this. But there's no sign of that any time soon. Israeli forces continue to mass on the border to join those in Gaza. Their commanders are warning there could be many long days of fighting ahead. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, on Israel's border with Gaza.